Hey citizen, in today's video I will be showing you a program called Game Glass, extremely useful program, it can be used with many different games, however, I am using the program with Star Citizen, so I will be referencing mostly Star Citizen in that video, however, keep in mind that creating the shards, probably it will be absolutely the same for each and every other game. If you like that video, please leave a comment down below and maybe a like, it will help me a lot as a small content creator. So let's get started. Alright, so you have your game gas already downloaded and installed. If you are new to this, I will link down below with from where you can download the program. That's not a problem. Uh, when you open the program, this is how it's going to look. You're gonna see uh, that you can download an Apple Store, Google Play and Amazon Store. If you want to create your own shard, you just need to click on My Shards. This is going to load this window here. Make it on full screen, it's going to make your life much more easier. For you to be able to work with the program, you have to get familiar with the interface. Lucky for you, the interface is really simple and it's not uh, overpopulated with uh, menus, buttons and everything else. Right, so let's break it down. On the top corner, you're going to see two buttons. One, one is import shard and the second one is create shard. Under you can modify how you want to see your shards already. From the left side, you have all shards, which is going to put all the shards in one. Uh, not in collection which is going to be empty that's going to be shards that you are still working and you haven't assigned to a game and then for my case star citizen this is shards for the game that i have uh, downloaded and two that i have created all right in create a shard when you click on it it's going to load this page this is the shard creator Let's familiarize at first with the interface. You have on the top save button, which sometimes can be bugged and can disappear. That's a little bit frustrating. So you should be always saving your work, to be honest. Uh, under, we're going to find few different uh, buttons. One is uh, this little settings panel. Here, we're going to set the resolution of our tablets. Here we can create custom colors, we can save those and use them during our work much more faster. And this panel here is going to be our uh, panel to customize the buttons that we would like to have. Undo and redo. From the left side you have components panel. What that means when you start putting things um, in your shard. When you click on it, it's going to give you each and single component as a name so you can find things much more easier. And insert, when you click on insert, you're going to see this window here, which is going to give you many different menus as buttons, toggles, hero components, uh, text labels, panels, dividers, decorations, star citizen, and Elite Dangerous, which we have nothing in it. Before you start creating your shard, you have to create your shard resolution. How do we know that? Really simple. If you want to make shard for your uh, tablet or your phone, you can always take a screenshot. You can uh, go to the properties of the picture and most of the time it's going to say the resolution in that picture. So, I, for example, am using uh, Amazon Fire tablet, which is with the resolution of 1920 by 1200. After we have created the size that you would like to work with, you can start making the layout you would like to use. My recommendation, it will be before starting to do anything, is to put some thought in which side of your joystick you would like to have the tablet, phone or device. So, for example, 
I keep my tablet from the right side, which means I use my right side to interact with the buttons. So if I have to separate this field visually, let's do let's do that here, right? You have the two halves of the field, right? So the left one is going to be the closest one to your hand, which is going to have the less travel from your joystick for reaction. And the right one, it will be a little bit further away, so it will have a little bit longer reaction for you to press the button. Think which are the essential buttons for yourself that you would like to have for fast press and the ones that you would like to have for slow press. Let's say it like that. Alright guys, we're going to create our first button. We're going to click on insert and there are the buttons and you can also put panels under them so they look much better, but you can actually do that later. So let's start at first with a simple button. Add the button on your field, change the size, the ones that you want to have. Uh, often when you look at it on your computer, the size is going to look pretty big. So you'll be happy but when you put it on the small screen the buttons will be much much smaller so it can be harder for you to press so make sure that you are making the buttons big enough and check everything on your tablet during the work now we have our button on the field and the first thing that we would like to do is to change the name of the button and this is going to be our landing gear let's say landing Landing gear. All right. The second thing that I would like to do, for example, is I'm gonna add a small icon. There is even a landing gear icon here, right? So now it's time to start changing the sizes of the text and the icon. So I'm gonna make the icon in the way so it's a little bit more visible, like that. And then I'm gonna increase the size of the text also however i don't want the text to be coming out from these parts here from the side borders right i want to have some kind of a symmetry also to be placed for the eye so we can reduce the size of the landing gear and we can give a little bit more text size like that if it's not working that way you can always just type it manually so i'm gonna give it 22 no that's too much 21 that's the size i would like right now we have just created the first visual of our uh, button i don't like how the text is sitting so what i'm going to do is uh, align it to the center like this the text is going to be center aligned much better for my view and now if i want i can change also the color right now the text is uh, white i can change it to yellow there we go yellow or red but that's not exactly <laughs> that's not the best red for example but anyway you get the point or just green or you can use the colors you already preset the ones that you saved that the ones that i showed you earlier in the video so you can set it in secondary or uh, highlight or height there we go. You are happy with uh, how your button looks. You're done with the uh, visuals. Now it's time to start programming. You're gonna click on this button here, action. You need to you need to click it first on the button, right? You need to mark it. You see this uh, blue border around it, right? And you're gonna see these three menus here. One is duplicate. When you click on duplicate, it will duplicate the button and then you can just drag and drop it. The second one is change layer. What that means, if I take out right now a panel and put it, it's going to be over the buttons. You see? If I want to put this behind the buttons, I click on these arrows and I will send, say send to back. And now I have the buttons over the panel. There we go. We have two buttons and a panel right now. We are, we are ready to fly. Okay. The third button is actions. Let's click it. 
here you're gonna see a completely new menu in this menu you have the inputs the functions audio and navigation in inputs you have keyboard you have mouse click you have mouse wheel and write a text we're gonna delete all those we don't need that many we're gonna leave the keyboard so to bind the button really simple for the sim uh, for the normal binds you're gonna leave on press and release you're gonna click record and you're gonna press the button you would like to uh, correspond to the action so landing gear i think it was n so i'm just gonna press n and there we go next i'm gonna add a delay the delay is actually needed uh, i can't explain you exactly why but uh, i would I, I would think that it has something to do with the delay between the programs and the reactions so you have to add a delay 100 milliseconds is the delay for this action to be registered at least this is what what it works with me with my shards and then i would be adding a sound i want to hear when i press the button signs you don't have the tactile feeling in the finger you don't really realize that you have pressed the button right you want to be able to recognize in some way that there was some kind of interaction between so i will add a sound which is most of the time confirmation beep the most basic beep ever and i'm gonna put it on 50 percent i don't want to deafen myself or the people who are using the shard and that's it our landing gear button is now ready to use what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click a save button i'm gonna name the shard so let's give it a name test and we're gonna save it this button is ready you can use this button right now right everything is programmed is absolutely ready you can load in the game you can start the program and you can press it and it's going to take your landing gears down let's make a little bit more complicated button to do so this one is going to be quantum jump let's change the name quantum jump yeah. okay i just woke up please <laughs> uh we're gonna remove the icon because that's not what it is anyway uh the quantum jump button it will take a little bit different combination of uh setup so to when you play star citizen you know that by pressing b you start your quantum drive by holding b you can start using the quantum jump right so by holding b you're adding a pretty long delay we need to recreate that here and also uh, in the game when you press b it's by press hold and then release so we need to create that also lucky for us we have everything in the program here first we're gonna click on press and release uh sadly for now there is a small bug when this header is uh covering this menu uh, i have reported that also and it will be worked on it and we're gonna click on the press so the first key bind is going to be press right we're gonna click on uh, record then we're gonna press b the second we're gonna add a delay the delay here it has to be longer signed in game you have to hold the key longer also for the action to take uh to, to work right so our delay here is going to be 1500 you're welcome i just solved your problem uh i know that you would have this problem also so there you go the second thing that we're going to add it's another uh sound effect because we want to press delay sound indication that we have uh, initiated the action i'm gonna set it on confirmation beep 50 percent there we go and then we are going to finish with the last binding which is going to be on release there we go record a button b and that's it this is your entire uh, key combination to initiate your uh, quantum jump and 
the most important part in your tablet or phone you don't have to hold the button you just press it and it will make everything for you of course you can make many different uh, things with the layouts you can add more uh, buttons or toggles you can experiment be yourself but that's the basic on how to use the program and i just got this bug when my uh, save button went away so that's that's good that you can actually see that always save your uh, work very often hopefully this is going to be resolved soon and uh, yeah i hope that this small tutorial is going to be very useful for you if you think that i deserved it please leave a comment down below leave a like it really helps me with the algorithm especially as a small content creator thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye Bing, bing, bang.